Shalom. Before I get started with this lesson, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rechakudash. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom taught the Achim in his truth and sincerity. And uh, I just wanted to do this uh, quick lesson going into how the Lord, how we were born to serve the Lord. Okay? The Israelite man, we were born to serve the Lord. Okay? Which the true name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. And the true name of His only begotten Son is Yahweh Shai. Okay? And the Israelites are the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay? Which, as a matter of fact, which, which you can see right here, those are the Israelites. Okay? We were born to serve the Lord. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay? And I'm going to start off in the book of Jeremiah chapter 1, starting at verse 7, it says, um, Oh, as a matter of fact, Jeremiah 1 and 5, Salakia, Jeremiah 1 and 5, it says, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee, and before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee. And ordain thee a prophet unto the nations. Okay, so us in this this wisdom and knowledge, okay, we were formed, we were formed in our, our mother's belly, our father and our mother, the Lord put the spirit on them to get together at that right moment for us to be born so that we can fulfill prophecy, okay? <laughs> That's literally why we were born, to fulfill prophecy. All right, Lord willing, we're of the elect. Lord willing, we were those, those spirits uh, predestined from the foundation of the world, okay, to get this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. All right? But continuing on, it says, well, let me read it again. It says, before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee. And I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. All right? Let me read that in the NLT. It says, I knew you before I formed you in in your mother's womb. And that shows that everything is predestined. Okay? Um, the world has, has a... Uh, there's this false narrative that there, there's such a thing as free will. Or such a thing as uh, a coincidence or, or randomness. That's not the case. The, the Heavenly Father, He controls everything. He predestined everything. Okay, before he even created anything, he, he predestined this whole, this whole, uh, this whole scenario, this whole movie. All right, the Heavenly Father is the ultimate uh, director. When you look at the word theater, it goes back to the word theos, which means God. It says, before you were born, I set you apart and I appointed you as my prophet to the nations. So the Lord, He set us apart from the world. He 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 brought us out of this world because, as Yahweh Shai said, uh, matter of fact, let me get that. He said we're not of the world. Let me get that in um, John seventeen. All right, because we're following in the same, we're following the footsteps of Yahweh Shai. Okay, everything, the example that Yahweh Shai said, we're, we're following his example. Because he's the shepherd, we're his sheep. But uh, let me see, what verse is that? What verse is that? Uh, bear with me. It says, hmm. I'll, I'll, I'll get uh, John 17, and I'll start at 15. It says, I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world, but that thou shouldest keep them from the evil. 
So th this whole chapter was a prayer of, of Yahweh Shai for the elect. Okay, and he prayed that, that the Lord didn't take us out of the world, meaning he prayed that, that the Lord had us be born at this uh, particular time. All right, he didn't pray for us to, to for the Lord to just keep us in the spirit world. He prayed for us not to be taken out of the world, but that we should be uh, delivered, protected from the evil. That's what the word uh, keep means. As a matter of fact, let me get that word for keep. I want to see what that says. You know, it's always good to look at words. See, it says, uh, Tereo, Tereo. And it says, to attend carefully, take care of, to guard. It says, to keep one in state which he is. All right? To reserve, to under, undergo something. So the Lord, he kept us from the evil of this wicked world because we have a purpose to serve the Lord, to, to fulfill prophecy, all right, to prophesy to the nations, okay, to, to tell, tell you so-called uh, blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans to repent, okay, and, and Lord willing, the elect, the elect uh, 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 that's among the world right now, Lord willing, they hear the message and, and they, they, they convert, all right, that's, that's, uh, that's that's the goal, all right. But that's up to the Lord, okay? Because not everyone is gonna uh, get this word. It says, verse sixteen. There's a point. It says they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. All right. So just like Yahweh Shai was 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 not of the world, we're not of the world. That's why the Lord sanctified us and made us a prophet unto the nation, unto the nations. Okay. It says, as thou hast sent me into the world, even so have I, have I also sent them into the world. So the Lord sent us into this world, man. That's why um, technically we're all apostles. That's what the elder apostles, uh, they say that on multiple occasions. Technically we're all apostles because that means sent away. The Lord sent us, but we don't, of course, we don't call ourselves apostles because that, that title, we give that to our elders all right, out of respect. Our double honors to the elders and apostles, but the Lord He sent us into this world to to obey Him, to do His will, to serve Him. All right, to to do what He said to do, which was to be a prophet unto the nations, to tell to tell you people that America is about to be destroyed, that the the Son of the Heavenly Father Yahweh Shai is coming back soon with with the with the armies of angels and what the world ignorantly calls UFOs. And America is going to be destroyed by thermonuclear missiles, so repent. And before that happens, all hell is going to break loose. And it's going to be the worst time that the planet Earth has ever seen, which is the time of Jacob's trouble. The Lord sent us here to say, to speak his words, because these are not our words. Next scripture is Ephesians chapter 1. Uh, Ephesians 1 and 4, it says, According as he hath chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. So he chose us before the, the planet Earth was even formed, before the Lord even created anything, he, he chose us. This was a part of the movie. This was a part of his, uh, the Lord's uh, master plan, so to speak. Okay? Because he's in control of everything. Before, as it said in Jeremiah uh, 1 and 4, before he even formed us in the, in the belly. But it goes even deeper than that. It goes back to before the foundation of the world. Let me read that in, uh, in the uh, NLT. It says, even before he made the world, the Most High loved us and chose us in Yahweh Shai to be holy without fault in his in his eyes, all right? He made us to be holy. That's why he, he brought us out of the world, all right? He prayed not that the Lord should take us out of the world, but that he should keep us from the evil of the world, okay? He sanctified us. Let me get that word for, for world. Yep, cosmos, okay? It says, uh, an apt and harmonious arrangement or constitution, order, 
government, and that's speaking about the government of Israel. Whenever you see cosmos, that's speaking about the, the Israelites. Okay, so before Israel was even created, but it, it goes deeper than that too. Before the planet Earth was created, before the nation of Israel was created. Okay, but in the spirit world, the, those angels which kept not their first estate. You can read about that in the, in the book of Jude. The book of Jude, verse 5, it says, Heaven predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Yahweh Shai to him, to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will. So he predestinated us to come back into this truth. That's what the adoption is, to come back into the fold, to, to, to uh, be reconciled with the Heavenly Father through Yahweh Shai. That's the, the that's the adoption, all right. Br bringing us back, because we we once knew this. That <laughs> matter of fact, since I said that, because we already knew this at one point, but we we lost this truth. The Lord, there was a falling away. Okay, we lost our heritage. We lost the names of, of the heavenly Father, His Son. We lost the concept that we were the Israelites. But the Lord, He adopted us back. That's what Yahweh Shah's sacrifice was about for the elect. Yep, that's in the book of Jude. Jude 1 and 5, it says, I will therefore put you in remembrance, though ye once knew this, how that the Lord, having saved the people out of the land of Egypt, afterward destroyed them that believed not. So he put us in remembrance. He caused us to remember uh, this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. First and foremost, beginning with his names. Because when we heard those names, man, we knew that that was it. That this is the truth. Okay, speaking for myself, I knew when I heard Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, that's it. That's the truth. Okay, so the Lord, he stirred up our pure minds, as the scriptures say. But um, I'll end off with this. Ecclesiasticus chapter 12. In verse 13, it says, let, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the Most High and keep His commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. So that's why we were created. We were born to serve the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. That's why the Lord put the Spirit on our parents, our father and mother, to get together at that right moment so that we could be born the reason that whole the whole reason that happened is that so we could serve him all right that's why we were born we were born to serve the lord so lord willing this lesson was edifying uh to the elect of the nation of israel I want to end off by giving all praises glory and honor to yahweh bahashim yahweh shah bahashim double honors to the elder apostles of great millstone and shalom to the elect